Once you've built a good profile and you can watch that video up here, then the, first, the next step is to land a couple of jobs on Upwork. You have to get some feedback and some history in your profile. So in order to do that, you're gonna to have to make some proposals. So my steps for making proposals are first, be short and sweet. Don't write a big, huge, long proposal because the client is gonna be looking at probably a, a dozen or more. Sometimes in, in some cases, they're gonna be looking at 50 or 60 uh, proposals that came in for their job. So don't make a big long proposal that they're gonna have to spend five minutes reading because they're gonna take one look at it and then say, I don't have time for this. So be short and sweet and basically invite them to have a conversation with you, say, let's have a chat about this um, or something like that. Next, be cheerful. Everybody likes working with a cheerful, enthusiastic person. So make sure you come across as cheerful. Maybe use exclamation points, but don't go too crazy with it. You could say hello with an exclamation point and then get into your proposal. So you wanna, you wanna make, make yourself come across as, as well as you can, right? All right, tip three is to bid low. We're talking about your first couple jobs, right? So don't worry too much about how much money you're going to make. When I say bid low, I don't mean bid like $5 an hour. I mean, maybe if there's a client who's willing to go between say 30 and $65 an hour, then maybe bid 35 or something like that. I wouldn't go to 25 because then they're gonna say, well, you're probably not worth that much. So you're trying to land your first job, bid low so the client will see you're willing to work for a low rate and then when, when the job is done, the client will give you great feedback. They won't feel like they've been ripped off. And so that's how you're gonna get your first couple jobs. And lastly, don't be pushy or act desperate. A lot of times um, I'll post a job on Upwork and then I get sometimes many hundreds of proposals. And not only do I get proposals on Upwork, but then it seems like almost as soon as I post the job, I'm getting requests on LinkedIn to, uh, you know, to connect on LinkedIn. I'm getting emails. I'm getting submissions on my agency uh, website. And these people are insistent and they are pestering me, right? And they contact me over and over and over again. Don't be that way. All you're gonna do is make a proposal and you're gonna wait. You're gonna wait for that person to get in touch with you. And if, if it takes, Oh, and this is, this is an important thing. Often it takes about a week or more to get a, a response to a proposal. It's always kind of surprising to me because when I make, when I put jobs on Upwork, I tend to respond pretty quickly to proposals. But keep in mind, this is what happens. When I go look at proposals, I see a couple who I really like at first. I send them messages. I don't go and message 20 people. I send the first two who I think are really good a message. If I don't hear from them within a day or two, then I'm gonna start looking again. Depends of course on how urgent the job is, but I'm going to start with the first two. If I don't hear from them, I'm gonna go get back into the queue and I'm gonna look for more people. But there's another thing that happens and that is, I might start the job and then find out that neither of these guys is suitable or neither of these guys is really as good as they looked on, on Upwork. And so I'll pay them their wage and I'll say thanks a lot and I'm gonna move on. And then I'll go back to the proposals and I'll, I'll go back down the list and I'll start picking off other names. So if your proposal falls into the category of a second or third look, then don't be too discouraged if you don't get a look in, in a day or two because you might get a look a week or two later. So, and don't, don't be pushy or act desperate. Don't find out what the person's email address is. Don't, don't go to their LinkedIn profile. It just, it doesn't impress people. And when you get 10 or 15 of those, then you're certainly not gonna be evaluating 10 or 15 different companies and freelancers who are reaching out to you. Just don't worry about it, you'll get a job. Just follow the steps and you'll be good. Thanks.